Oh, what's up? <laughs> Sorry about that. I was too busy barfing over the fact of how much money I just spent on this GTI this year. Good grief, is it a lot? I don't know. Let's talk about it. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Why Not, aka Mitch. I'm bringing you another video. God, I say that every time. I've got another video idea for you guys that you might like or not. I don't know. Today's video is going to be on how much does it actually cost to own, operate, and drive the Volkswagen GTI, more specifically in 2012, with quite a few mods on it, of course. If you haven't already noticed, this one has a lot. So I'm gonna break down with the best estimates, kind of the numbers I have that I personally run through for a year's total on this car specifically. You kind of get an idea of what you're going to spend throughout the whole year just on this car and maintaining it, driving it, loving it, insuring it, all that fun stuff. Without further ado, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, comment if you have any ideas or want to talk about anything, I am all ears. So how much does it actually cost to maintain a GTI year round? First and foremost, I personally spend about $20 a week in gas. 20 times four for four weeks is about $80 in gas, which is honestly not that bad because my car specifically here gets around 27 miles per gallon. I do a lot of highway driving, so that might help me more than usual. But if you guys do a lot of city driving, I've been seeing myself get around 22 miles per gallon. With that, when you're driving it a lot, maintenance comes with that, of course. Wear and tear, you know how it is. And I have found that roughly each year, I spend about $2,000 on maintenance and really keeping this car up to shape. That number can change depending on how you drive it, more or less. You can go anywhere up to 6,000 because you're blowing stuff up because you're just running it so hard. Or you're not really breaking it at all because you barely drive it. And then with that, I personally bought the car outright, so I don't owe anything on it. I don't have to make any payments or anything like that. So it makes it so much easier to pay for stuff and not have to worry about those monthly payments. But for you, if you're buying this car this year with these kind of miles, you're looking at about $200 a month. And uh, what I mean by these miles is about mid-grade, upper, kind of 60,000 miles-ish, I, I guess you could say. If you go anywhere below that, you're probably looking at about 250 payment. If you add a $200 monthly payment to that, that is another $2,400 a year just in payments. So right there with the maintenance and the payments on a car, if you're doing that, that is roughly $4,400 a year without gas. So then if you add gas into it per year, you're looking at close to probably $1,000 worth of gas money just to put in the car and drive it. So if you add that to the $4,400, you already get $5,400, not including insurance. My insurance on this car right now is about $150. I have a very good driving record, so that helps tremendously in the price. Some of you may have lower, some of you might have a lot more expensive than I do. I know the lighting is kind of low. If I go into this area, it gets really bright and you guys can't really see me and you can't see the background, of course. So I know that. If you're daily driving this car purely, very nicely and averagely, with a monthly payment to own it, you're looking at about $6,000 a year. For 365 days, that roughly translates to about $16 a day. And then if you are not doing monthly payments on the car, you own it outright and you drive it fairly nicely, and don't always have to pay for parts or actually take care of the car and do the maintenance yourself, you're looking at roughly $10 a day, depending on your style. If you're very laid back, you could probably see about $2,500 to $3,000 a year. If you're very average like me, you're looking more at about $4,000 a year. And if you're very uh, aggressive with the car and don't, like, don't know what you're doing necessarily, because if you don't know what you're doing, you're not really taking care of the car and you're always running it, you're looking more towards about $6,000 a year. Hope you do enjoy this video. If you do, please go leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. We are trying to grow. I said 1,000 subscribers and I will give a giveaway. It's going to be awesome. So be one of them. You have to be subscribed to be put into it. So get on that, bro. Get, 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 get. How do they do that? I don't have TikTok yet. Actually, yeah, I don't have TikTok yet. Don't worry. I'm not going to be doing any dances like Charlie D. O'Malley or whatever her name is. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. 
I've been reading your guys' comments, obviously, because as you can tell, I'm not moving around as much. If you want a more interactive video, please do let me know. I will kind of morph to it. I'm trying to figure out what works best for this channel and how the views react to each, each video, I guess. So I'm gonna be making videos based off of the most high-ranking views and what you guys say about the videos. So if you do like my videos, please leave some feedback. I'm trying to grow into something great and I need your guys' help. I'm here to please you, help you, and entertain you. I can't do that without you. <laughs> and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much. Peace out.